Hey everyone, welcome back to another Exos Heroes video. So today we are going to discuss clearing chapter 18, episode 7. So again, Mahar is back. Um, he actually appeared uh, as one of the bosses in I think at, at chapter 12, if I'm not mistaken. So now Mahar allows Iris to escape by making up an excuse about the plan being delayed. Okay. But before, you know, we go to the story, before you read up on the story, let's go first and see what he does right now. Okay, so for you to clear this stage, you have to you have to understand really how you can defeat Mahar. Um, I've done this a couple of times, actually last night. Eventually, I was about, I, I was actually, uh, I did actually clear it. But more or less, um, here are some of the elements that you need in order to clear this stage and beat Mahar. So let's go over his kit first and why he's so tanky. Um, I did. I really had a hard time, you know, finding the right um, combination of heroes for this one. So for his passive, he has block three, provoke, 10 turns, and he has heal over time, uh, heal cell for 20% of attack every turn for five turns. So this is actually what is what i don't like about him and and for some reason when i brought fc ramji here um oh okay he he cannot you know he cannot uh, give uh um what do you call this immunity to sorry when i brought fc ramji actually I, I realized that he can he is actually immune to stat to all status effects so I'm not sure if um, if um, the nullify heal is part of that, but it has no effect on 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 Mahar when you bring FC Ramji. So it would be useless. I've tried it a couple of times. Uh, again, let's move to his other uh, what do you call this? Other passives. So yes, again, he has status effect immunity reduces normal damage received by 65%, which is actually a you know a headache. Increases attack at the start of the of the round by 20% and can be stacked. He also has tenacity, grants tenacity mark to self if break status is triggered. Reduces duration of break by two turns for each tenacity stack. And he has a buff, increased health of all allies, which I really, really hate as well. Because um this actually contributes to you not, you know, three-starring this stage. So uh gives Increase health and reduces damage received on all allies by 80%. So this is actually... He's a tank for himself. He's also a tank for his allies. And his skills are not really... Not really, you know, not really something to something to brag about. Normal provoke and damage to, to, to one enemy. So that's it. Most importantly, the strategy for Mahar. What I would recommend is bring at least two two heroes which have burst damage for their s2 but for single target so that's important because if you bring if you bring a lot of aoe and it doesn't give that much of a damage you won't really get a chance to lower his hp or it would take you a while that you can't restart the stage anymore so that's one number two is the objective is to clear out um all his allies i'm talking about the wave three okay wave two and wave you know wave one and wave two are are easy um i'm talking about wave three um because you need to make sure that you pick his supporting cast first before you pick him off so let's go to the actual battle again so let's t i'll take you first to my team so more or less this is what i brought i brought um at least one hero for each uh, garden stone so that you can break mahar i brought iris um Jinai. i have their adams then Bathory, then schmib so the two um burst damage single target spell or s2 is with uh, schmid and is with fc adam so for that i am happy already more or less um if you feel that you should bring a healer you can actually replace uh replace janai here with probably redley or who else any healer actually would do um i just i'm just bringing her because i would need 
additional buffs uh because of this one because of yao and more or less that's it okay so let's proceed to clearing this out okay so here now we're arriving at uh, at uh, wave three so more or less guys what i did was i skipped through waves one and two um more or less the your objective in waves one and two would be just to make sure that um that number one you still have enough turns to clear this one so clear in turn 70 I've, i'm here right now in wave three and also limit the number of hits that you have so that you can actually you know have this um stage three start so again um earlier what i said was the objective of this um of this stage is to make sure that you kill off his allies first okay better <laughs> kill off his allies first that um are beside him so that they won't you know get um a lot of hits versus you so again try to give them more or less the biggest damage that you can possibly uh, give so again let's have another turn for fc adams so again the um, if i wanna you know repeat myself again for for wave wave three number one is clearing out all allies then making sure that when you are able to attack um mahar the 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 first um the first uh that you need to do is actually make sure that you 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 guardian stone break him so that you'd be able to deal more damage and also um uh what do you call this um fc adams is actually here because of heart strike as well so you need to apply heart strike uh once you have the ability to deal damage i'm um, sorry once you're you're with mahar you should actually apply heart strike to mahar so that you can you know deal as 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 a, a, a bigger damage as possible so let's you know try to pick off the last ally that he has so that he won't be as annoying as you know giving you hits more or less mahar's hit is you can actually absorb it um as long as you you are able to break his guardian stones as quick as possible one hit won't won't, won't be that bad to absorb or probably two um more or less just need to make sure again that he you break him so he his his guardian stone breaks actually has two levels so you have to break two sets of guardian stones so this is the first one so more or less it has um machine nature and frost in it so i'm just going to go through i need to break him with machine let's try to do a heavier strike with s2 the the the, the only attack that counts for him is actually a burst burst high targets uh burst high single target attack which is usually your s2 for 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 you see he's now um heart stricken so more or less you need to pound him more with s2 but again you need still need to break him down i'm just waiting for fc shell to for her turn so that we could break him and go to the next level of garden stone break so so we're at the next level already so we still need couple so i still need uh nature and frost for this one to be complete so this is his second attack again it's possible that you can absorb this but if you have you know if you have heroes that are not that tanky enough you could actually bring a healer let's try let's not do this now let's wait for it later once he's um guard broken and for this as well i'm still waiting for battery's turn which is actually i think in a while after adams so here it is 
Then he's broken. Then we'll proceed with the beatdown. Okay. S2 for battery. My my battery actually doesn't deal that much damage. She doesn't have uh, a niche potential yet, not a single one. So she's just here mainly for survivability. When it's the turn of um, of Janai, I usually would like to you know to call on Adams because again I think that his uh, his S two is a bit more consistent in terms of damage. Let's do this. A full 10 mana damage for S2. So let's see. It's a critical, big critical hit. Let's see how big is that. So he's still broken for four turns. I'm going to take advantage of this. Hopefully I won't, you know, I won't reach another. I, I w would not want to reach another cycle of having to, to guard break him again. So hopefully I can clear this one. Still have 37, 36 turns. So for Schmid again, S2 because S2 single burstable, high damage skill, very good damage, criticals all the way. So I'm down to he's down to a little bit more. So I he did survive this. So he's out of his his uh, guard broken stage. Then I'll probably just uh, chip away with this. Try to still, you know, try to still guard break him. But I think Adams can finish him off. We'll see. There you go. So again, guys, that's it. Um, more or less again for waves one and two, less hits. Uh, less turns that is the key survive it then you'll be you know you'll be e you'll, you'll be on your way in finishing off in wave three so this is just a cutscene and we're done so three star again i've taken the, the the reward already so more or less that is it guys for those who want to have further questions please write them down in the comment section below Again, guys, for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, around 85% of my viewers haven't subscribed yet. Please do, because this really helps my channel. Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.